as it has always been on such occasions. Even this time around, a list of dignitaries, both local and international, have been invited for the 12th May ceremony at Koloro Ceremonial Grounds. Although time and again he has been contesting President Museveni's victory, FDC's Dr. Kizabesije has also been invited to be part of the ceremony. So we have to invite him, so it's up to him. Then it's not an offense to decline an invitation. So if he chooses to decline, it is his problem, but for us we shall, we shall uh, invite him. The Minister for Presidency, Frank Tumwebaza, says all the seven contestants who are in the presidential race have been invited. Inviting the opposition to be part of the swearing-in of President Yoweri Museveni this past day seems to be of good intentions by the government, but the opposition thinks otherwise. Okay, the FDC flag bearer will be swearing-in on the same day, so we cannot attend their, we cannot attend their, their, their sham kind of swearing-in. Where is it going to be? Harold Koja, the deputy FDC spokesperson, thinks being part of the ceremony is uncalled for. They saw our election, everybody knows it. You talk to them, they say, they say we stole your election, we shall not accept that. So we shall keep pursuing them to make sure they drop our victory. You lost at parliamentary level miserably. You did not only stop at parliamentary level, you, you lost at the district. You didn't stop at the district when it came to the sub-counties. It was a real massacre for you. So far, 14 heads of state have confirmed their attendance, except Rwandese President Paul Kagame, who will only be represented at the function. Others invited and confirmed their attendance include Zimbabwean President Robert Mugabe, Salva Kiel of South Sudan, Togo and Angola, among others. Countries that will send representatives are Rwanda, India, Japan, Germany, and other guests from East African community. All of these have confirmed their representations. The program of the day will begin at 7 a.m. with the arrival of invited guests who include outgoing and incoming members of parliament, political party leaders, former presidential candidates, delegations from all districts, members of the diplomatic corps, religious leaders, traditional and cultural leaders, members of the academy and the business community, among others. Meanwhile, preparations at Kolo ceremonial grounds are in their final stages. Thus, this function will usher in a new Museveni government that will steer the country's leadership for the next five years. Even when he's going to be sworn in as president of Uganda this Thursday, the opposition until now have failed to contain the fact that Museveni was announced winner of the 2016 general elections. Just the Nachibole, WBS TV, Kampala.